Telling you about the cool soggy weather and how it's affecting plants. Here's CBS 2 Morning Insider Vince Girasoli. From overhead, the Morton Arboretum's boxwood mazes look, well, amazing. But come down to earth and you'll notice a problem. Like these here, we're seeing areas where brown leaves are hanging on. We're seeing some areas where actually whole branches are dying out. It's pretty widespread. Dry, brittle leaves barely clinging on to branch after branch. In some cases, the branches themselves have split apart and died. This whole area here, we may have to remove this. I don't think much of this is going to come back. There could be bugs. And judging from the pictures sent in from concerned plant owners, it's clear that the Arboretum isn't alone. We're getting calls from all over, emails from all over, um, and it's every day, all day. Though this is an especially unusual year, the Arboretum's horticulturists have examined boxwood leaves and branches closely, pinpointing a reason why. You know, mostly it's stress. Yes, even plants get stressed out, and can you blame them? There was the 2012 drought, followed by flooding in 2013, then the 2014 polar vortex, coupled with wet springs and dry summers in the years since. They're dry, there's no water getting through them. Boxwoods are especially hardy, but weaken just a bit as they start to fill out in the spring. And that's when this year's late season snows took a toll. So, even if all of these brown, dry leaves and branches make you panic, the experts say, don't give up hope just yet. I still wouldn't give up on this, even though there's a lot of brown here. Look, we've got some green. Really? There may be some buds. I mean, I would wait. Newer leaves are a sign the boxwoods could rebound. Horticulturists recommend we wait until early June before deciding to pull them up altogether. We're urging people don't cut yet, no matter how horrible it looks. We, if we can give them a couple more weeks, we may save some of these shrubs. Proof, it's not that easy being green. At the Morton Arboretum, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.